and then opposite way. And then just take one palm out ahead of you, or you can do this practice that we did last time, which is pressing the hands down onto the thighs to open. Otherwise, you can also do it this way, which is extending the arms, and one hand out in front of you, the fingertips pointing upward, and just gently pulling. So you should feel a nice stretch here in the Coptic tunnel, and the wrists in the palms as well, and the thumbs. Breathe in. Soften shoulders, so we're not like this, we're softened, and breathe out. Shake it out, and then opposite. Breathe in. Breathe out. So you'll probably notice a distinction between the hand that you more dominantly use and the other, and again, that's conscious attention to chronic habit, right? So we understand, wow, my right hand, I type, I write, I eat, I do, I draw. It's all of these practices um, that I, um, sorry, I'm using my computer again, so I have to make sure it hasn't gone to sleep. Um, the, it, we make sure that we are as balanced as possible, and we also can give a little bit of extra love into the hand. So in the position that you're seated in now, just resting the hands down, palms to face open, lift the shoulders tall. And we'll have a little silence for the moment. Notice if your chest is leaning forward, your shoulders rounding forward. See if you can Draw upright and then draw down while you keep the space in the spine. <clears throat> Let the head float. Relax the teeth apart. There's space between them. You can even open, close the jaw. You can smile, stick out tongue on the out breath. If there's any ambient noise around you, that's a chance to just acknowledge it with the mind's eye. You'll probably feel pulled in those directions, and that's normal. So it might be the sounds of other people you're with, or things that are happening, lawnmowers or air conditioners. And then come back to center. Breathe in all the way. Breathe out, round a little bit forward. Breathe in all the way. You can open the chin upward, so space in the throat. Breathe out all the way, round forward. You can extend the arms. Breathe in all the way. Heart lifts, the chin lifts, feel space. Exhale, round, relax forward. Two more times. Breathe in, open, breathe out, breathe in, maybe gentle smile, breathe out. Good. Lifting up tall, already thanking yourself for the practice. There's still a little more to come. We'll do some. Movements, you can switch the crossing of the leg, extend the arms outward, lift the body tall. You can touch the palms up at the top if you want to. Keep the space that you've made as you twist toward your right. It might be the left on camera. I, I can't remember on computer and phone. It's a little, I think it's different. Breathe in, soften the shoulder down that's behind you. Breathe out, you might twist a little bit more, maybe twist and even in the Neck. So it's like a staircase rotation, little by little, and this also gently exercises and opens the neck, the cervical spine. Release from the twist on the out breath, and then breathe in, touch palms. Breathe out, twist the other way. So the opposite arm comes to the opposite of the thigh in front of you. Soften the back shoulder down. 
Breathe in. Breathe out. Twist. Maybe open the neck. Release from the twist. Lift tall. And we'll do it just on the breath now. Breathe out. Exhale. Twist the opposite way. Release from the twist. Breathe in to center. Breathe out. Twist. So it takes some work in the muscles when we don't lever ourselves. And breathe out. Breathe in. Release the hands alongside of you. If there's something in the way, um, like this, you can move it out of the way. And we'll take a few standing asana practices. So again, things that we would hopefully see as familiar. Um, I'm just, I've already sanitized my space here, and I have a, a small towel or a cushion, which can be helpful if you want to use it, so I'll put that here. And I will show you the feet. You might not be able to see the tops of my hands, so just a heads up about that part. So lift tall, arms lift, ground down through the feet. Notice if you're jutting outward, see if you can gently draw and navel toward the spine, keeping a curve in the low back. Exhale, bow forward all the way. Relax, release forward. It might be a half fold. It might be a full fold. So you should feel a little bit of space in the backs of the legs. If you can bend the knees to start a little or a lot. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Halfway lift. Pause. Bring the palms to your shins, remembering that posture practice, especially for the computer. So the palms can be placed under the shins. I have open hamstrings generally, so I can be straight like you. You can also keep bent knees. Notice the back of the neck is neither crunched nor rounded too much. So again, this is posture practice. Shoulders are open. Good. and then draw upwards. See if you can maintain that posture as if you were sitting upright to prepare yourself. If you're doing any computer or phone work today, breathe in, lift the arms, ground down through the feet. Exhale, keep the space as you glide forward. Maybe pause at a half fold or all the way. Pausing here, breathe in. Breathe out. Maybe your legs are a little more straight than last time. Maybe Hold your elbows. Breathe in. Breathe out. Switch crossing. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. Halfway lift. Palms to shins. This also helps recalibrate the blood to the brain before standing upright. Shoulders are open. And then lift to stand all the way. Relax the hands open. Good. Breathe in. Lift the hands. Widen at the palms. And then exhale. Fold all the way forward. Relaxing. You can always do the half fold. Breathe in. Halfway lift. Exhale. Plant the hands and set the left foot back behind you so you're grounded on the ground. And so you can use a towel or a cushion underneath the knee. The knees are really important to protect. They're very gentle. They do a lot for us in our walking. There's a lot of buoyancy that happens. <clears throat> Round down through the front foot. See if the front knee can be over the front ankle, and the back toes are tucked in to support. And we did something like this the other day as well, so lifting the arms up overhead. You can just remain here if you like. You can also clasp the hands. Remember which thumb in front to open at the heart. Lift. You can also cradle the back of the neck as we lift so you feel a little space. Maybe smile. And rather than leaning too far back, anytime you feel crunching, pinching, these are the things that we want to avoid. So it's more of a lift upward, and then you might start to lean back. So you're using and engaging in the core. And then lift the arms up. You can scoot the front foot forward a little bit, we'll open through the left psoas, so you should feel a little bit of openness happening here, it should feel good, again, if not, back up, it's okay. <sighs> good. <laughs> nice. And then, come onto your hands and knees, open the towel so both knees are supported. 
ground down through the hands. Bring the, the fingertips to face you, so we'll open up the wrists a little bit here. Again, the more that your knees are away, the more you're going to feel some of that opening more acutely. Otherwise, if you want to scoop the knees closer, you can start to sit toward the heel, and that allows you to control the amount of pressure. So as much or as little as you like, right? And then let the hands relax again. You can stay in your hands and knees posture if you want to. You can also tuck the toes and lift into a plank. And if you'd like, you can gently sink the hips. You can also do this on the knees. So just gently sinking the hips to feel a little bit of openness. Tuck the toes as you breathe out into the down dog if you want to. Otherwise, just stay on the hands and knees. Breathe in through the nose. Press through all parts of the hand. Breathe out of the mouth. Breathe in. And breathe out. Bend the knee, look between the hands, and walk. Or if you're on your hands and knees, just step, step forward. Come into a half lift, pausing here. Again, palms to shins. That posture of the shoulders opening. And then from here, you can lift up to stand, lifting again, arms wide around and up, wide in palms like you're gathering space. Exhale, fold all the way forward. Breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out, plant the hands, set the right foot back behind you so your left foot's in front with the towel or with the cupola, whatever you're using. Ground down through the left foot, the front knee over front ankle. So my right hip is always a little more sensitive and I can already feel it here in my psoas especially. And then lift the palms, lift the arms up overhead. You can stay like this or clasp the fingers the opposite way, these delicate, you know, um, visions of balance that we have. You can place it at the back of the neck or back of the head and lift as you start to lean back. Breathe it, engaging at the core. The lift is most important. Maybe a smile. Breathe out. Bring the hands back upright. And then you can scoop that left foot a little bit more forward so that you can lean forward the front hand. The hands can come to the front thigh. So just resting forward, feel openness. Continuing to breathe fully, completely. Then come out of it and you can bring the palms to the floor, both knees underneath your hips. And we'll take a small child's pose so that we can rest the arms and rest the back. I hope you can see me. My computer's asleep, so I don't know. <laughs> Let this, the um, seat come to your heels. Relax forward. Good. Come on to the hands and knees. If you'd like, in the hands and knees or from a plank pose, you can let the hips gently sink so we're not crunching the back, but we're just feeling a little bit of openness, a little bit of movement in the hip bowl, and then tuck the toes, downward dog, breathe in. Breathe out, release the neck. Breathe in through the nose. Breathe out, flutter your lips. Breathe in. Breathe out, stick out the tongue like a lion. And from this position, or hands and knees, just walk to the front. Inhale, halfway lift, palms to shins. This time, exhale, fold, release, let it go. You can even kind of ragdoll where your feet even are a little collapsed. Good. Breathe in, halfway lift. And then lift the arms wide around and up. Maybe the palms touch, the gaze soft. Bring your palms to your heart. 